the picture here shows <coughs> the water cycle. So basically, what happens is the water from the rivers and the seas, they will evaporate, right? And change from water in the liquid state to water in the gaseous state, which is water vapor. When this water vapor rise, right, they will condense and turn into tiny water droplets. The tiny water droplets will join together to form bigger water droplets and fall as rain, right? Rain is also known as pre precipitation. The rain goes to the ground, it will pass back into the sea and the rivers and it will continue the cycle. Source of power that powers the water cycle is actually the sun. Without the sun, the whole water cycle cannot work. Now this word here, transpiration. What is it? It's actually the plants giving out uh, water right from their stomata. Plants don't perspire, they transpire right when they breathe. So where does all the water come from? Most of the water comes from water bodies like seas, rivers, and lakes, water bodies. And some of the water also comes from uh, our laundry, animal perspiration, and plant transpiration. Right? Plants don't perspire, they transpire. They give out water vapor through their stomata when they breathe. And some of the water actually comes from the glaciers, the mountains, snow, and underground water. This is one of the common questions that is always asked in exam, and it is important to know how to answer this question. Why is the water cycle important? Basically, the water cycle provides us with a continuous supply of fresh water for drinking. If the water is not fresh, it's not fit for drinking, and a lot of organisms will die. So the concept phrase that's very important to answer this question is the continuous supply of fresh water. You have to write these concept words here to answer this question.